It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. What? Alright, whatever. I have to do a puzzle. Lovely. Oh my god, she's constantly in the way. I don't want to use my lantern, Jesus. Okay, so that's one I can't interact with. Oh! I'm assuming it's this one. Oh my god, I'm too weak. Really? I'd be better off finding a tool. Alright. Where could I find such a tool? Oh where, oh where? The bat oh. Perfect. Hooray! I got a poker. Will that really help? Okay. Somehow. Alright. That should do it. Let's move. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. I'm your puppet no more. You bastard. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh gross. My wife, my wife, you owe me obedience. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Oh god. Don't get between me and my wife. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Yeah, use the poker. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. Ooh. How dare you. Jesus. Ew. No. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Oh. You're cold. They don't want me dead. Why? Because you are the one destined to perform the call. Your wife thinks so. Fool. My desire to protect Sarah is stronger than their petty schemes. You heard her. No, detective. She is much, much more than a woman. She is the Oracle. <gasps> Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Kept here for months. It was her magic. The bookstore. How do you know that? Does not matter. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. Hmm. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Ugh. 
Oh, God. Jesus. Holy, where the hell did I get that from? Go on over, Edward, pick up the axe. <laughs> That'd be a useful weapon. I still find it stupid that we have a gun. We've had a gun for the entirety of the game, but I can't use it. Yeah, what a lot of bullshit that is. That'd have been perfect for the cultists. Could have. Oh no, I was going to say, I could have stopped Charles then, but no, I couldn't. Considering uh, Bradley shot him like three times and it did nothing. Oh, whoa. So we're on chapter 9. After the death of Colden, Pierce, a victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive. Prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to pr protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the law of the occult, she will lose all free will allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Yes, bring forth an ancient evil god. How come they always, they just say, like, bring forth an ancient god? They don't name him. It. I don't know if Cthulhu has a gender. Yeah, they don't name it. They just say an, evil, an ancient and evil god, when it's quite obvious it's Cthulhu. It's just, it's rather strange. Cool, though. I'm really enjoying this game. It's been, it's definitely been a creepy, creepy game. It's not really had a, you know, lots of, oh my god, I nearly shit myself scares, but it's definitely had me on the edge. Quite a bit. And I like that, honestly. Oh, we're back with the graveyard. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. Mm. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? Hmm? took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. So this is the night of the fire, I guess. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my! How did he not die? Wow, well, alright. And that's what set fire to everything. Oh dear. Oh god. Hey, who's that? Oh! What's his face? I can't remember his name. Obviously he only saw Sarah, but didn't see the child. Oh no. Jesus. Simon. Come on. It's over now. Oh, 
Oh god, what the hell is this? Hmm. Every time I see it, I'm like, is this Cthulhu? Oh. Great, another. My dear Sarah. More character points. I'm probably batshit insane at this point. Oh, I am a master. Hell yeah. Oh wow, my sanity is very, very low. Oh wow, these are actually, I've gotten three more. Jesus. Trapped in madness. Is the death of Colden a hallucination, or is it the sole flash of truth in the slow de descent into madness that Edward Pierce's mind is undergoing? The detective gained entry to Riverside Institute in order to help the doctor. Immediately attacked by the Shambler, he fled through a transmuted hospital whose architecture respected no physical laws. His wanderings led him to an operating room, where his confrontation with Fuller came to an end where, when Colden's corpse rose up to attack Pierce. The de detective thinks that he's got a grip on himself, but now he knows that death and madness lie in his path. His sanity was severely affected by this new ordeal. We also have Charles Hawkins. Pierce and Sarah Hawkins confronted the monster that Charles Hawkins had turned into. The man retained nothing human. Tentacles replaced one of his arms. His face bore the signs of an unfinished mutation, and he was endowed with superhuman strength. He was on the point of strangling Pierce when Sarah Hawkins drove a poker into his throat. Pierce finished him off with an axe. The fight to the death left Pierce physically and mentally scarred. Wow. So I'm only shaken, I'm not completely fucking mad yet. Which is su surprising. So we have Mary Colden, uh, Marie Colden, who is now death, at uh, death, dead. Arrived too late to free Colden from the clutches of Fuller, just before I found her body in the hands of the doctor, she had come to see me to give me a last message. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I believe that her words were full of truth. Not on there, Sarah Hawkins. She's now alive. I found Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of the Riverside Institute. Charles Hawkins and Dr. Fuller seem to have connived to hide her from the world. She seems to be very affected by the tragedies that have struck her family, but I detest you know, detect a fighting spirit in this woman that I, would, that I would better not underestimate. She's a survivor. Damn straight. Wait, did that unlock anything else in places? Or a cult? No, I guess not. Inventory. Poker. A fire poker found in Riverside Institute's boiler room. Really? It's not. This is the weapon that killed Charles. Okay. Do I have a choice? Hmm. Way up. Oh, wait. I didn't even notice that Bradley is up here. Bradley! How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, oh, dear. Colden. Have you had any news? She's dead. I'm telling the truth. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened, but I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... you sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Hmm. Oh, well. I have... <laughs> I'm crazy enough to say this. Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's this story of destiny? I'm insane. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. 
Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Hmm. I prefer to be alone. I understand. I mean, a dear friend of yours and possible lover has, uh, just recently died. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a <laughs> bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You got it, boss. I'm gonna say, get a move on then. Oh, there we go, I actually do sit down. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. What I the hell's happening with the fingers? Me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. No worries. There's a cult. Because of the Wanderer. You feel guilty. No. Charles Hawkins is dead. You've been friends for a long time. Hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No, you're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Oh. You can't give up, even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect Why is with her fingers? Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. Just All like, right, I'll help you. the made of elastic. Super bendy. Jesus. All right, I love how whenever I use that, it's like, this will affect your destiny. It's like, I don't really care. It's fun. <laughs> Deceased. Hooray! Charles Hawkins tried one last time to challenge the wishes of Sarah Hawkins, and he is dead. This time, there is no coming back. Although I condemn the actions of this man, in a certain way I understand his motive. He was ready to do anything to protect his wife. His abandonment of the cult allowed us to flee the Riverside Institute and learn and to learn more about the threat that was weighing upon the mind of Sarah Hawkins. Ah. Alright, so now I need to go and speak with... What's his first? Where was the office? I don't remember. Was it just back here? Was it back here? Very far away is where this guy went to. There we go. Found you. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Wow. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Oh, nice. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? <sighs> I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. 
That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. Hmm. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Oh, I can do that again. Do it again. Dimension Sam Shambler, saw the dagger at Sanders. Ooh. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. Mm -hmm. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Okay. The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Thank this man. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. Oh, no doubt. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, <laughs> but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Okay. Oh, we got a bust. Hey, it's Ketchup a bust. Right, so. Do I have any more pack character points? I don't. Right, so, a cult. So, the key of Rie. Drake maintains that it can repel the forces of the Great Old Ones and lock the doors to the undersea city of Rie. I see an ugly, solid gold medallion engraved with the same symbol that repulsed Charles Hawkins in the Nameless Bookstore. It remains to be seen if it can really protect Sarah Hawkins. What else do I have? Oh, it's the picture. Sketch of a bust. The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by... Concealed by concealed Charles Hawkins. Where have I already seen it? I'm looking for a bust. Where the hell would a bust be? Might as well just get this out. Not this way. Upstairs we go, I guess. Hmm. Oh, these are all cleared out now. Hooray! God, listen to that echo. Yeah, just from our running footsteps. Very nice. Oh. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Oh. I can reconstruct something. Hold the phone. Maybe that's the bust. Already anything on me. Oh! We found it. Ah! Sketch of a still life. 
The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by concealed Charles Hawkins. Where have I already seen it? Oh. Oh my god, I have to... On a treasure hunt, are you serious? Well, there's a reconstruction to be done here. Why not? Oh, right. What am I constructing? Uh, I don't know. Not seeing much of anything. Literally nothing is showing up. Um, kind of confused. A little, yeah. Hmm. This is the candle. Ah, oh, there we go. What kind of Jeez. ritual was she preparing? Then there's that. Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Oh god. Oh Jesus. Why did I do that? I probably shouldn't have. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. She was trying to send back the Shambler. Oh. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Whoa. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Oh, he broke in. There we go, we got it. Yay, construction done. Jesus. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. Hmm. So I need to find a skull and a bust. I know where they are. It's where we've woken up in front of several times. Ah, oh, that's not too bad then. There it is. Boom. Oh, and the box. Wow, that was easy. Nice. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. So this amulet is engraved with the Elder Sign. Drake calls it the key of Rie. He firmly believes that this artifact is of great power. Oh god. What? What was that? I got two character points. Hooray! Whoa. Oh, right, so it's this. I'm psychotic. Oh, great. <laughs> Sarah Hawkins Ritual. Is a Necronomicon endowed with its own conscience? While investigating the Hawkins Mansion, Pierce came into contact with a residual image of the lost book. The work is so powerful that even the memory of it is enough for the detective to lose some sanity. Pierce is not the only person to have read it, as he suspected Sarah Hawkins also studied it. Right, so psychotic. There is a secret, a forgotten secret, so old and terrifying, which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of Lost Tomes, or whispered during forgotten and, out and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth, and you have seen the frightening face of reality. Yeah, I've already read that. The Failed Incantation. In Sarah Hawkins' office, a circle decorated with unknown symbols surrounded by partly consumed candles bear witness to the artist's occult activities. In the middle of tangible proof, upturned easel, broken bolt mark left on the floor by a beast, new resi residual images arrive to disturb the reconstruction. The Necronomicon appeared on the floor probably because Sarah Hawkins sought the knowledge required to carry out her right within its pages. It was no doubt a right of revocation, because the Shambler was present. The mark on the floor does not lie. There is no other creature on the earth capable of making anything like it. Whatever Sarah Hawkins tried to do, it failed, and the state of the room accentuates the words of her dead husband. She must never again come near occult forces. Who oh boy. Sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I gained a character point. Just a single one. Really? Oh, never mind. Alright, well, back down to, uh. What's his face? Oh boy. Well, I'm psychotic, so I have a feeling that I'm completely screwed. In terms of getting a good ending. I, I can't help it. I've caught, I was probably going to get the worst. Not the worst ending, but. 
I'm probably going to get my sanity to be complete shit because I like to explore and interact with everything. Ah, uh, it's you again. Indeed. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. You got it. Another character point. Just a single one. Oh, you blow me. Alright, whatever. Well, Sarah, we've got it. Oh, there she is. Right next to the entrance of the house. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Huh? Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Wait, what? So we're dealing with the cops? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. Hmm. <laughs> you bet I will. No idea why the hell the speech was so delayed, but whatever. No big deal. Hmm. So we get arrested. Great. So, Darkwater Police Station. With the help of uh, Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect her Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of her desire to track and kill the Dimensional Shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. Fantastic. Well, the worst part is I have to wait for this to load to see if there's any sort of cutscene, which there more than probably is. And then I can end the session. Sheesh. Hmm. Oh, I can't wait. I mean, the game's really starting to get interesting. I mean, it's it's ever since the the first time we came across the cult. So t t technically, the first chapter. The game's been incredibly interesting. Or well, since the um the prologue, the game's been really interesting. I just really like it. It's quite a good horror game too. I mean, because it seems to set the atmosphere with literally just being creepy, as opposed to just hitting you with a bunch of jump scares. Which, honestly, jump scares aren't scary. They make you jump, but that's it. They're not scary. They're just a very weak way to get a reaction out of a, uh, person. Person? A player. I wanted to say person. And player, so I merged them into one. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Hmm. Can I... Oh, I can't check my stuff. That kind of sucks. I mean, I could just read it next session, it's not really a big deal. But I really want to end the session. I've, I've played for, you know, nearly two and a half hours. 
I've done a fair bit. I was on chapter 7 and now on chapter 10. So yeah, pretty good. Either way, that is going to be the end of this session. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.